cockroach milk. We were talking about cockroach milk on the stream, and Brock has got triggered, and <laughs> it only got worse from there. So that was the uh, the, the initial uh, go that we had with the um, that particular conversation. So now I get to talk to you about other things. Let's talk about lines. Um, for this image, I tried to. I had a lot more fun with the lines. I played around with them a lot more. I didn't have to, but I chose to because um, I wanted to get back into doing line work for comics and and other kinds of stuff. So it was good practice, as some of these thumbnails tend to be. You know, good good excuses just draw, and you know, you know get something out of it, if you will. So. Um, Luckily, with digital art, you have a lot more freedom to play around with lines. So, as you can see in the background, uh, those are very thin lines. And right now, well, not anymore, you can't see on the screen. But there was, um, when I'm doing the main characters, that would be the uh, Bugalo, which is like the a giant cockroach in Futurama. Which is why, cockroach, monk, yeah, yeah, you get the joke. So, um, I, I try to have nice thick lines, because they're in the in the foreground, and thin lines for the characters in the background. That shows a difference in in depth between what's in front of you and what's behind you. So when you make when you do line work, you should always have nice thick lines for your main characters up front and thin lines for the characters in the back. Now, the other thing I also tend to do, um, you can also see the shadow work, but if you look around there, around the, the bugalo, you saw I, I erased some of the lines, and that creates a separation between uh, characters, if you will. So they're not all just blending into the into the, the blackness. You want to separate the characters and show that these are separate entities. So you would try and uh, get rid of some of those lines. Now, uh, once you do that, of course, you get doing the, uh, the colors. So when you do colors from line work, you, if you especially if there's a lot of line work, you want the colors to emphasize the lines because the lines are kind of the main attraction and not the colors. Because this is not a print. This is not a, a, a something you, or a poster or anything like that. Because posters, you want there to be lots of color because that's what they're sort of there for. But in comics, you want lines because that's essentially the, the, the meat and potatoes of the actual image itself is the line work. So that, that's something else to keep in mind. Now this one I sort of towed the line a little bit one way or the other because the uh, this is a thumbnail after all. It's not a comic book, it's a thumbnail. So you do want to st keep it bright and colorful so that way the viewer will see that and be like, what's this all about? And then they'll click on the image and then they'll, they'll see the stream. So that's one of those ways you want to do uh, to make your art appeal for something like, you know, Something like a video. So catchy thumbnails, if you will. Make sure they're nice, bright, and colorful. So keep that in mind. Some line work. It, this is a combination of the two. So, yeah. Well, that's it for now. Take care. Bye.